Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to Build a Page. I know this is a series we have not done in a little while. Um, a lot of us with winter and Christmas and all of that um, kind of fell to the wayside a little bit. But Kristen, who is the creator of this really awesome series, along with Moira, myself, Shannon from She's Crafty, and Jen from Kay's Mom, we've all had a little chat and um, kind of changed a little bit of the boundaries, uh, rules of what we're going to do. Um, and we're really excited to get going and bring it back. So some of us are going to keep it the way it was, where we have two days of kit building followed by five process videos and an end share. There's a couple of us, Shannon and myself, um, myself this month. I'm not saying this is going to happen every month. We are more just focusing on actually building the kits and when we get the chance we will create the layouts um, as the time comes and um, anything in between that is okay. We just want to have a fun series and we love to build kits and we love to show you how to create them. I know the whole idea was originally to watch us build the kit, create the layouts and have it all done in a week span which was really really fun. But we all know life happens, and so that just isn't always possible. So um, I am going to be basing my kit building this month off of five of sketches that I picked from last um, round of 30 Days of Sketches. So that would have been Series 10, and I didn't get to play along at all during Series 10. I did my features of everyone on YouTube and Instagram but I didn't actually get any time to play myself. So I will be building my page kits based off of five of those ones this round. And we're going to start with actually day 31, I think, which was the bonus sketch. This was done by Jen, so Kay's mom, who's also a part of this series. And I really loved it with the idea of a central photo with something kind of sticking outside all the, all the outside perimeter and a border. So how am I going to get this done? I'm realizing I don't have my ring on. I was working out and I take my, my ring off when I'm working out. So I'm missing something. Um, we're going to start by, I'm just going to randomly grab a bag, a collection from under my desk. If you've ever seen my, how I store that, that's what I do. And what do we have? It looks like we have, this one might be a combo of it's been so long since I've created I can't even think of what things are called what is this a uh, fresh bouquet <clears throat> so it is just that um and I've got the sticker sheet the chipboard stickers a few um little bits and pieces here and some clear stickers so that's what I have in this collection so that's great this will be perfect for that um for that sketch actually. So let me go ahead and grab, um, I'm gonna go get my ring because it's bugging me. Um, and then we will decide which papers we're gonna use and build our first kit. All right, so <laughs> got my ring back, all is good. We are going to start by finding the border um, and some layering pieces. I'm not gonna pick photos yet. I think we'll do that um, after the kits are built. Like kind of put together and then I'll go through all my photos at the same time and we'll we'll do that. What about this? Right off the bat. Look at this. This would be perfect as either the background or the border. So, perfect. I'm grabbing this. That was my first choice. Let's see what else we can do. Um I'm not sure which way I want to go with this. I can see I've fussy cut out some florals with this one. What about doing that? Because you can see there's flowers in the sketch. So if I placed a floral on each one, that would be really fun and make that possible. So let's pull that. And let's see. I'm not sure I want to go yellow on that one. I do like this blue, however. This could either be the border, 
which is very pretty. I like that as a border. I hope you can see that. It's a little dark today. It's a bit um, overcast. And of course, it's still only February here, so can't do much about the light. Sorry. Um, it's, yeah, I like that. So I think maybe I'll grab this. We're going to work through my collections. That is the point of of this in my spending freeze, right? Is actually getting through my stuff. Okay, so we've kind of got that part down. We're gonna be looking for layering pieces and the parts to do the banners or whatever I want to do with them. What about that? Because this will just be white. It won't have the pink to it. So if this was one of the banners on that, it could pull out. Let's just have a little look. Yes, it would pull out any of the light blue that's shown through. So I will grab this as one banner option and a layering option. And then if I had that again in a smaller, like if it's already been cut, I will grab that instead of a full piece, but either way. And then I just need kind of a basic, what about the blue? Maybe we'll do that. I think that we might have in the up here, right? Was that one of the ones that I had already? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I will grab that and that will be the paper. And then layering wise, maybe we'll... Do I grab a piece of this yellow just as a small possible layer? Maybe. And then... I don't want to go too crazy. What about this white? There. Um, and then it's going to have pink already, so we probably don't need another layer of pink, but maybe? Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, and you know what I should look at? <clears throat> Excuse me. Instead of pulling any more of these papers, I'm just going to put that down, is looking at what I have here for layering. Um, this would work really well as well because I could do, I could do that as like a, if I needed a, some journaling or something. So I will keep that. Yeah, and then what if we did like a tag, a couple tags instead of um, like full layers. I like that idea, let's do that. Yeah, that'll work. Plus it's using up these cut aparts, which is awesome. So that would look really good, layered, and then I'll get that extra pink. So that's perfect. And then I don't know what I would use for embellishments because I don't know which photo I'm going to use. I will leave the sticker sheet in there as well as this clear. I probably won't use many of these clear stickers to be honest with you, but who knows? <clears throat> and then I will will find the photo and then maybe I'll make a final decision with this, with these and put them together um, and pull a couple so it's not the full sheet, but it's a couple things. So that was easy enough. Look at how fast that page kit came together. I love it. It's been, it has been a while. I know I say that I've been saying that a lot lately, um, but it has been a while since I've created and put things together. So the fact that that went together really quickly makes me very happy. Okay, perfect. So number one is done. I will put the rest of the paper back in its little bag. Um, and let's move on to sketch two that we're going to work off. All right, next up, I'm going to be working with the sketch from Susanna Lee. I believe it was from day 29. I liked the idea of this one to build a page kit just because it's got lots of different bits and pieces. So I thought it would be a good kind of stash busting one for that. So let me grab my next collection that I have on hand. What is it? What is it? Oh, Ooh, it is um, Amy Tangerine. That's fun. I haven't touched this one in a while. Okay. Sorry about the noise. Um, I didn't think about that part when I <laughs> when I did this. This actually is going to work really well with this 
this sketch. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what do I have in this collection? Um, a full sticker sheet. I haven't used a bunch, much of it. I have the little um, sticker sheet there. Some puffy stickers. Some, um, I don't know what you, these are kind of puffy too, but I don't know what you call them. Chipboard puffy, I don't know. An alpha, which is good. And got the paper. I used a lot of this collection to document a trip to the zoo that I did, uh, or that we took, um, and that was really fun. So that's what most of this paper has been used for, but let's try and not do the zoo route. We'll find photos for that in a minute. So I need a strip and then um, some little pieces to go with multiple photos. So even like these little pieces would almost, I could almost get away with that. I might want them a little bit bigger than that though, but it's an option. So let's see here. What do I have? What do, am I gravitating towards? What are we feeling here? Um, I want some different patterns. They need to be a little bit bigger than that or that would have been cool. Do we want a, a busy and then no, we want something calm and then we'll do things after that. Although we could use this as that little strip. That would be possible and kind of fun. Let's start with that and then see if I can build off of it. And then if I can't, it's okay. We'll come up with a different option. But I feel like if I trim this, so you'll get a bit of each color and then the layers like that would be kind of fun. So let's see what we've got going on here. Do a bit of the green to go in the green section. Do I have this? Let's see if I have it in a scrap format, because if I do, um, there is no sense using a full sheet if I can use the scrap first, and then I'll use the full sheet for something else. I know it's a little backwards, but that is kind of how I see things. Um, although when you're trying to use stuff up, I guess you should not worry about that so much. That's a good piece too. Oh, there's so many pieces to pick from. Okay, let's see. Well, this is about the right size maybe that we want for it, right? So I might grab this, because that might help me with the size um, bits that I want, and that could work for one color. I'm trying to get away from the zoo feel, so I won't do the animal print or the zebras. These hearts are adorable, but I don't, um, yeah, I don't need that as a pattern. Oh, I do have this. Okay, perfect. So there's that one. What other colors do we have? I don't want to go that bold. I am wondering if I want a full like border. I'm a big fan of borders in general. I, I just like the way they look. Um, but I'm wondering if that might be a little too bright for what I possibly could be going for. I, of course, I don't know. I don't have photos yet, but maybe not quite the right choice. Um, okay. So we've got the black. So maybe not the the green. I'm going to hold this just to see. I will probably pick one or the other, but not both. Uh, we might need a pink. Maybe that's a good pink. Let's see if there's a different option. It reads a little animal printy to me. This might be a great border. Yeah, okay, so we'll use that as the border because I've decided we're having a border. And then we pulled a green already. Do we want another green? I don't know. I don't know if I like that green, we'll see. We have that pink already, so that's fine. 
Um, I probably don't want to do this one on top of the white. That would be a little too, too much. Okay, is that all of the patterns? I think it is. I think it then just repeats itself. Oh, there's the yellow though. Yellow. And the cut apart, which may be good for like a journaling spot or something. Just trying to look at the sketch and see if there's anything that I'm drawn towards. Maybe I might pull this just so I have the option. And then I will pull this yellow just so we have it. And then I can make those final decisions. Okay, so I'm happy with that. It's a little more paper than I actually was expecting to grab, but there's gonna be a lot of little pieces to this one. So it may be, it may be needed. Okay, perfect. Let's put this paper to the side. Kind of have our, our plan here. We'll pick and choose from the paper when the time comes. And then again, not knowing what the theme is, I'm just gonna keep all the embellishments here. And once we know that, we can then trim that down to where it needs to go. So that is um, kit number two. Next up, we have a sketch um, from Allison Davis. Her sketch was for day 25. And let's see what the next collection is under my bag here Whew. oh this is a new one I haven't even played with this one yet so this was ginger snap that I ordered from scrapbook your joy when it was still um, a company she's um, closed shop now but that's really exciting so that means I'll have a whole lot to pick from which could be fun so let me grab that let me pull this out <clears throat> and I'm going to have a lot to play with because I haven't even touched this. So this sketch calls for some strips of pattern paper, a lot of floral, three photos. Um, so this could be really fun. This is a very fall line, which is fine. Um, I have fall photos I haven't even touched yet. It'll, it'll work. I'm wondering how I want to do this. The strips in the sketch are as skinny as this is. Um, do I, do I cheat? Do I make it so that I use this and then if there's something worth fussy cutting or layering, I could do that. I wonder, because I have the leaves so I could use leaves in place of the floral. And there's lots of fun words I can play with. And then I could pick an animal. Okay. And then I can save the um, plaid for something else or a layer. Excuse me for one second. <coughs> okay. Let's, um, I'm going to open this and I'll be right back so you don't have to hear me crinkling all the paper. One second. That's better. I'm going to move the plaid because we're not going to use that one this time. I really do think I am going to take advantage of the fact that these strips are already what I can see in the sketch. So, yep, we're going to take advantage of that. And those are cute. I would probably never actually use the animals, but I would use the frames as something and oh look at this one Ooh, is it gonna be would they be long enough i'm not sure they'd be long enough that could work too though oh that's a hard decision okay i might pull that one just in case that will make an amazing background for something i'm looking if there is a one i can use to fussy cut for um, layers and stuff for like my photos. Just have a quick look. Again, because I don't know what my photos are, that does make it a little bit trickier, but I think if I, I can even just go with a white and then 
go from there. That's really cute. Ooh, like babies. Um, look at all these beautiful sheets of paper that I had not seen before. That one's really pretty. All right, I made it to the end. Huh, this is a hard one. So maybe what I would do, cause that's a lot of pattern. So I guess it would depend like if I went with all these white ones, I could do a color. But if I did these colors, I need a white, I need more white. So that means I need to grab and I have to, my, my problem and what's happening here is they're so pretty, I don't want to cut them and I need to not do that. So we're gonna pull that one for color if we do the white option. We're gonna pull this one to use a bit of that if it's I do the color. We're going to... Do possibly that one for the white. There's a color option. There's a color option. And yes. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull those papers so I have them. We will grab, I guess that could be where the plaid comes in. We'll grab the plaid in case we do the white versus the color, because I don't know yet. I gotta find my uh, paper, right? But that would definitely be where it's gonna go. So if I cut like this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, they all have a white undertone to them, right? Which means that the color, um, little border for my photos, it would be good to have some color. That's where my brain is going with that. And then once again, we will keep all the embellishments together for now until we find some photos and then we will kind of go from there. Awesome. Okay. So that is number three. We're getting there. We only have two more to go. Next up we have a sketch by Scrappy Kia. Um, this one was for day 13. I liked this one because the idea of having a strip and a strip, um, and then a couple photos and some floral. So it'll be a little bit more of a basic layout. However, I just felt like it was a great one and it would be easy to pick a few pieces out of a collection to go ahead and work with this one. So my next collection that I have is, woo, it's already falling out. Ah, uh, it looks like cocoa vanilla, right? With a bit of Rosie Studio in there. What is this? Happiness? <clears throat> oh, sorry about clearing my throat and stuff. I'm still getting over this thing. Um, it looks like happiness and make a wish combined, but maybe mostly happiness. Oh no, it's combined. They're combined. All right. Well, this, this is going to work perfectly. I don't know. I promise I did not plan that to do as it's doing, but it's working. All right. So we need the strip option first. I like to have two different colored strips versus, um, you know, the same one. So I'm gravitating towards this for sure. Even if it's just the top, I'm gravitating towards this blue too. Yep. What's the back of this? Of course, it's a beautiful floral, but I'm trying to not hoard paper, so we're going to go with that. And then we're going to, oh, it's a wood grain. That's a hard one. I was thinking the butterflies could be a couple. Yeah, we're gonna. No, we're just gonna do it. I can't. I gotta stop hoarding paper. The hearts on top of that blue it might be a little bit too much. And 
Okay. Let me think about this for a minute. So we're going to have the pink. And then I could do it on white and the blue strip could be at the bottom, which then means I could use a little bit of this floral for either this project or another project. I really love the idea of cutting a couple of these as where the leaves would go in the sketch. So it'll be a visual triangle and we're going to go with that because it's a super easy decision. What is this? Can we do it with this? That would make it very soft if we did that. Um, I'm not sure that that's enough to work with. It might be a little too, yeah, I'm not sure. It's possible. I can use it as a layering though. So let's pull that too. Perfect. Paper's going back. Okay, so we'll grab a white uh, cardstock to go with that. This just has a few titles. This one also has some titles, so we'll go with that. And I will have to bring in some embellishment when the time comes, which of course I can do um, with, my, with my stash. That's not a big deal. And I'll find some photos so that we know what we're working with. But that one flew. I'm really happy with how fast that one went. Okay, perfect. So that is number four. Just that one more to do. We've got this. All right. So for the last one, I decided to go bold and use this lovely sketch from Rachel Usher. It was for day eight. And it's got the option for so many <laughs> strips of powder paper. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, what my plans are, but I wanted to challenge myself and this would be a really great one to use up some paper. So let me grab one more collection. Let's see where we go. Oh, you know what? A bunch of stuff just... Okay, hold on. So it's another cocoa Vanilla, which is awesome. It's a different vibe, so it's good. However, when I went to pull that, I found all these lovely embellishments to go with that kit that we just did. So I'm just gonna go slide those over there. And that solves my problem for trying to find embellishments for it. Awesome. All right, here we go. This is the last one. This is Daydreamer from Coco Vanilla Studio. I'm kind of loving the different vibes that came from my random grab. This is a really good idea. I might have to do it again next month. Just use what, whatever you grab. I love it. <clears throat> okay, so we have lots of strips of paper to use, which is fine because I think I have a lot of this 6 by 8 available, and it will be a great way to use up these strips. So I'm just trying to get things that are not strips in here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so I I honestly, I'm gonna grab my six by eight papers and that's all I'm going to allow myself to use on this one. I'm not gonna use the 12 by 12 for it. We'll just use the six by eight with the exception of the fact that I need that one strip um, to go in the middle. So that's the only piece I will look into, but everything else will be these awesome six by eights. So 12 by 12, that's a sticker. Okay, so that's perfect. So we'll use all the embellishments. We'll keep that all together. There's the six by eight so we could make those decisions. My question is, how adorable is that? Would that be too much with a bunch of powder behind it? Probably. So let's not go in that direction. Let's. I need probably a full 12 by 12. Not 12 by 12, but area. What is this? That could possibly work. Plus, it's an awesome way to use that scrap, which I'm all about. 
so wood grain is also an option, I suppose. It would be a good balance, so I might pull that one. I like the white option. It needs to be more of a solid, right? So we'll grab the yellow. Maybe not the blue. Okay. And it might have to just be a strip of like white cardstock or black cardstock or something like that too. Oh, there's white cardstock right there. <clears throat> um, or even this would be a good solid option and then we have this um, okay no that's okay I think we'll do this that will give me the option to go with whatever solid I choose with the photos that get picked we are going to use the six by eight paper um, so that we're using up the scraps and then we'll go with the embellishments for getting it decorated all right there we go that would be my five page kits based off of five different sketches i will be back tomorrow um or later today i'm not sure how this is going up it might be later today i'm i've kind of been inspired since starting this within the past i don't know 30 minutes that i've done this and um, I actually want to create. So if I can find the right photos and I can find the time, I will actually try to make these full out layouts. Um, can't promise, I cannot promise, but I'm going to try. And if not, what will happen is tomorrow, we're gonna do five more or yeah, the next day, I'm not sure, but we will do it to get through this week. Um, it could be a really fun, um, full on like 15 to 20 page kits based off of the sketches. I'm not sure which direction we're going to go in, but um, I'm having fun and I'm getting inspired and that's what's important. And I hope that if you're playing along, um, it's the same thing. If you can't, if you don't have the ability to actually create, but you can build page kits, do it. Um, just do what you can do. I do promise eventually your flow will come back. Um, if you have been following me since this fall, you will know that I have been in a really big slump. I don't think I've ever been in a slump like this before. Um, but I know it will come back. I'm not worried about it not coming back. I just know it's not quite there yet. So, um, all right, I will be back, like I said, either later on today or tomorrow. Thanks so much for following along. Please make sure you check out every, um, all the other links for Moira and Kristen and Shannon and Jen. If you want to play along, we'd love to see. And if you would let me know which one of these page kits has been your favorite today, I would love to know. Thanks and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.